Hello, this is um, a follow-up to another screencast that I made about making cityscapes using Greeble, the Greeble plugin, which is, um, I put it up here on the screen, so if anyone needs this plugin, it's free, and it's a good way to make buildings. It's, a, it's an old plugin now. Um, but I've discovered something new, and it's quite a simple method to use the Greeble and then um, use the paint tool, the object paint tool, the free the freeform paint tool to paint your skyscrapers so they go up or down. Let me show you. It's easier to do than explain. So I'm going to make a plane, 2.5 by 2.5, and it's got a few segments here because each of these segments when we use the greeble turns into building space so we go to the modify panel and we go onto the greeble and just to reiterate the greeble is not installed you need to install it with the link that I've given here and I'm going to get rid of these little buildings and then I'm going to make the max height here and the minimum height blah 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 whatever like that okay now we have a square city it's simple but the kind of work I'm making at the moment just relies on square shapes so if you need something similar watch keep watching I'll just make that a gray And what I'll do now is I'll just make that a bit higher to give it more emphasis. So now we have a Greeble city. The edges, though, of the, build, the buildings on the side are the same as in the middle. And often in a city, the buildings in the middle get taller, or buildings in certain areas get taller. So there's no real way to edit this using the Greeble, yeah? And I was looking at other areas, such as using the FFD box here to try and, you know, you can mess around with the different points, but it makes a lot of distortions. So I've got a new, quite an, another quite nice way. So what we're going to do is we select the mesh and we convert it to an editable poly, right? Now we're going to go to the ribbon which is here for anyone that doesn't know and we're going to free form and on the free form tab we're going to go to push and pull yeah so it's using a paintbrush to paint to to push and pull the mesh i'm going to increase the size a bit so you can see this blue it's an aquamarine blue area increases and if I press the left button, then it increases and decreases the the um, the mesh. So if you, I press Alt, it goes down, and lift Alt and left mouse button, it goes up again. One thing though, you've got to make sure in this little button here that says Paint Options that the transform is on Z. Okay, if it's original it will go all over the place yeah and if it's on Z it's only going to go up and down on the Z axis yeah and this is what I want to do because the whole tutorial this whole short screencast is about make painting the building so they'll be tall or short I'm going to increase the size here it's not a great mechanism but it's an okay mechanism to do this because as you'll see as I paint the tops of the building go wonky yeah that then they don't stay horizontal and at the moment I don't remember or I can't work out how to keep them horizontal I'm not sure there is is even a way but if anyone can tell me please leave comments okay so we've got the but as you can see as I paint we've got this nice effect where the buildings are getting higher in the middle or whatever area you want you can also press alt 
and left mouse button, as I said, that brings down the heights. <clears throat> do a bit more. Okay, so now we've got a, a city, but now it looks like some sort of crystal Chris, Superman's hideout or some sort of <laughs> crystal thing is emerging from the city. But there's a way to solve this using the viewer line. So we go select each section, each top of the building that's wonky or, or not horizontal and we go to view align and make sure the top what the top viewport selected so it's got the gold around it and we view align and we keep doing this like so so it takes a bit of time but you can do it to all the tops of the building i'm just going to pause this and um, i'll show you the result and i'll tell you how long it takes from now Okay, so it's only been four minutes, and using the viewer line from the top viewport, I've made all the tops of the buildings horizontal. So all in all, it's quite a nice little method to paint your cityscapes, to, to give it more control than just, just using the Grebel modifier or a similar modifier. Okay, well, thanks very much for listening in, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.